Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Demo Manor House. Craig here, as always, and welcome back to Camera Bay. And um, let's see what we've been doing since we've been up here for six days, staying up here. And uh, just little projects. That right there, the small block coming out, is going to be a step that goes all the way around the same circle as this step. And it goes right into the block over there. So um, that is going to be all raised up to just under the top lip of this block. So the guys have to come through and turn them over and then we'll run brick that we're going to be using on the patio and the back verandas and so forth and stairs um, on top of that to finish it off, okay? And uh, mess the, the bottom of it and make it nice and smooth, fine. So that's what's going on. We've got some lemongrass in here. Uh, we've got a palm that's going to get up pretty high. That'll probably get up about 50 feet at uh, its most mature. Um, whether we're going to be around to see that or not, I don't know. Doubtful. But um, in about five years, that's going to be up at least uh, eight feet, nine feet. So it will tower over all this and it will make a nice addition off the back. Uh, we move some rocks around and uh, place them in here. This rock, this big rock was sitting right on top of those two, right in the middle. And uh, when we cleaned the rock off, we actually pushed it off and it rolled and that's where it landed and that's where it sat since it came off. And we've never moved it, it's too heavy. And uh, luckily it landed just in the right place, okay? Uh, these couple rocks over here, uh, those come from uh, different areas on the property and the guys picked that up, put it on the back of the truck and put it in a wheelbarrow and brought it over here. So uh, we've been working on the patio area just so we can see what it is. And that's going to be the steps up onto the patio area in the back. And this is all going to be brick. It's all going to be nicely painted, all brick on the top and all brick on where you see the brown dirt. And all be leveled off. Uh, that area with the high block over there uh, straight ahead is going to be where the barbecue is and a uh, pizza oven, bread oven over there. So uh, we've got some sugar cane growing behind that. And uh, we've got another sugar cane that's going to be right down the middle there. You can see it right in the middle. And uh, that actually grows in clumps and will actually spread out and so forth. We've given it a little bit of room. And uh, you can see the outline of the pool area. It rained here pretty hard yesterday, uh, late. And you can see the outline of the pool where the palms and all the other uh, vegetation is going. It goes right through those boards there and comes around this way. All right. So uh, I wanted to show you also the area up here over the master bedroom. So they've got it all boarded up there, as you can see. And uh, that they took off for uh, two weeks, oh, three weeks actually, but uh, a couple of the guys, Kepri and Marco, have been around and they are still working. And they actually came in and put up some of the boards and we're gonna be putting a ceiling up on this uh, underneath. Let me go ahead and just come right underneath it here so you can see through the scaffolding. So you can see the boards running across up in there. And you can see the boards running across up in there. And um, there's a beam right here that goes down the middle. So that's going to be an exposed beam. We'll place wood around that and a ceiling fan right in the center like we did on the other side. And um, we are going to be placing a a ceiling right on the bottom of these. So it's going to be a nice smooth ceiling on two sides, on both sides of this uh, decking area on the back veranda. So you can see how they've got them suspended up there because we actually still need to go up with block and put the uh, belt up there. But we wanted to put the boards in the right place so that we knew where they were because when we concrete this, that these ends will be concreted in and they'll just be hanging there. We can actually knock those right off the, uh, the wood 
that they're sitting on and um, then we'll just fill them up with concrete and be done with that okay so this is going to be treated the same way underneath uh, as a flat ceiling as uh, over there on the deck on the other side on the veranda near the kitchen where we sleep we still have the net up there Cecil is uh, staying up here and it's so hot up here in the evening that he wanted us to leave the bed there in the net so he sleeps out there which is cool um, so what we'll do is we'll put a ceiling up here and then uh, put the wood all the way around and put lighting up underneath the board so that it shines up in to the center of the uh, two boxes up here so it should be actually quite nice in the end and um, we're looking forward to that but I wanted to bring you up to pace with where we are I'm gonna go ahead and just walk through the house and show you where we are we've been waiting for the boards to be taken off the front but um, the guys took off and we just didn't have the time to do it and plus it's uh, there's a lot of concrete up here and probably could use you know the three weeks or the 21 days to actually cure and dry back here but uh, the guys came in you can see how nice and clean and tidy the floor is here now okay except for a few of these boards that are screwed down that i need to come through and undo so i will do that tomorrow that is one the um the list for me as one of the first things is to take all these boards off and unscrew them uh, especially over there under the window and over here in front of this area here so i'll do that take them all off and move them out to the uh the back of the house so that they're out of the way but here is the front veranda where these are going to be exposed beams so the ceiling uh is going to be on the top of these boards so that the beams actually show uh, everything on the back except for the big arch the big arch you're going to be able to see the boards just the way we are here on the front but on either side on the kitchen side and the master bedroom side over there yeah over there um, they're going to be flat ceilings there all right so this is the way it's looking here it's pretty cool uh, when you're out here and it's really uh, very hot and the sun is up it's actually much cooler under here now because all these boards actually when you walk under here um, have eight inches of shade every 20 inches so it's uh, half as hot uh, with the sun when you walk underneath these now which is really really nice so um, it's late on a uh, Thursday and uh, we have not finished these off yet we will come back in after we bust the boards off and fix the corner bits in here uh, so that is completed and yeah there it is going in to the side of the house all right so there's one of the windows on the front side of the door so these would be nice big white uh they call them mutton windows uh they've um they were georgian windows where they have all the little squares the white squares in them and uh, they all open up into the house so we'll be able to put screens on the front and uh, all over this house because the, the bugs and the flies and everything are just relentless here it's just too much and um it's it had to be done all right so uh, when i had the windows manufactured we had them manufactured so they opened in they are uh tilt and turn windows uh instead of the traditional pvc windows that open out so let's go ahead and walk down here. We are working on the front stairs little by little. And um, you know, we have extra concrete. We come out here and do a little bit of work. But uh, when the guys get back here and uh, bust all this off, it's not a priority, these front stairs. The main thing was to actually have stairs to be able to walk up and down and get through this house. So it's looking pretty good here. This area right in here just moved out forward just ever so slight maybe a quarter inch we didn't notice it when we were putting the concrete in but it actually just slightly moved out we probably should have uh, put a level on that before we uh, we did it I think it was level and when the concrete got in there it just moved out ever so slight they might have to fix that but we will not know until they bust the boards off so I'm coming around on the side we've got a nice coconut palm and a bunch of lemongrass it gets up really nice and bushy and it's very uh, wispy and uh, those are really nice we just thought we'd stuck them, stick them in there you see all this new fresh fill that i put on the side 
of the house near the toilet and I came through here in the last two days and raked everything out and all this stone and dirt all came out of that area okay so there was a lot of it and it's, it's smoothed out and what we want uh, this is going to be a solid wall here and when the water comes down here we're going to have the water run around the toilet and go down okay so uh, we've made little sort of fill areas so that the water will do what we want it to do um, this will actually be covered with dirt uh, I haven't done it yet just because the guys need to get in there and actually take all the wood off and get inside and take all the sticks off underneath you can actually still see all the sticks I don't know whether you can see that in there but um, they've got to get in that hole and take all those out so that is on the list in the next week or so and uh, looks pretty good some wheelbarrow trucks there but it's looking nice isn't it you got some of the Sankey palms out here those are gonna get big and wide uh, very broad and uh, the very deep green uh, trunk is about probably it will get out to 18 inches at, at one point so uh, I actually this palm is actually sitting four feet over and this pipe actually runs right down in here and we actually had to move it from here because if the palm gets too big later on down the line which it will be uh, that that trunk and those roots will actually crush this pipe and I did not want that to happen so we moved it out five feet away from the uh, pipe and it should be fine with that because uh, the, the roots on palms are actually quite soft they're, they're pliable they, they, they will not break through it and um, it'll be okay so it's looking actually nice and clean and tidy out here sides of the house master bathroom here's the master bedroom and we have the deck beams that I showed you in the very beginning of this video and um, that should be quite nice when it's done the block will actually go up to the top of the board up there. So it needs to come up just a little bit higher and um, then we'll put these two by eights right here. They're all drying out. They've been sitting here, right here, all stacked up. So we're drying these out and uh, making sure we can use those ASAP when we need them. And those will actually, there'll be bolts sticking up all the way around, all the way around here. And uh, we'll place the two by eights over the bolts after we drill the holes and uh, screw them down. And that way, when the truss comes in over the top, that it actually has the wood to sit on and not the concrete. All right, so that's about it for uh, this video. I wanted to bring you up to speed with where we were. I'm going to come out just a little bit. I'm going to walk out over these boards. I need to watch where I'm going. But um, these are all mahogany wood boards the vast majority of them. Some of them are uh, um, alternative to, to mahogany. They're hardwood, but they don't, that feels heavy, but they do resist the insects. So just to give you an idea of what the house is looking like here. And you can imagine right in this area here, that it's gonna go straight up there. It's gonna be a nice big roof on this. And uh, we've got only one side on the pillar side because we had to put this box up here the beam and then there will be a, another small pillar that goes up here and then there will be a big arch over the top right through here and then a big pitch on the back. So this house is pretty imposing on the back and um, much more so than the front but I thought I'd give you a perspective of the way the house looks uh, from a distance. I'm just uh, pedaling back here just a little bit to make sure that I can get it all in the video. Ah, uh, there you go, all on the screen. So uh, we are down to a one pile of wood, which is here, uh, because we took all the wood out here and stuck it down over there in those big gullies, and we're going to light it up. It's been a bit wet here, and um, the breeze has been up, so we don't want to ever light anything where we are. They're going to not be able to finish the job with fire, or it's too breezy where it might skip over and 
a light up any anything else so we have to be very diligent on what we're doing so that is about it for us on this video we uh, really appreciate you uh, following along with us sorry so long between a uh, video but um, uh, there's been a lot of things going on here and I just haven't had the opportunity to do it so I will endeavor to get a video up here uh, once a week to make sure that you know where we are especially when the guys get back so I hope everybody's uh, uh, preparing for Christmas and uh, going to have a great holiday. Um, we are going to be spending Christmas obviously up here. We'll be staying right underneath there. And uh, it's always nice to wake up here. The dew is uh, it's nice and cool. And it's nice to be able to get a jump at 6.30 here in the morning instead of starting at 10 o'clock from down in Bacala. So remember to subscribe to the channel, share the uh, videos around, and leave comments, and hit the notification bell to make sure that uh, you're notified whenever I drop a video. So that's about it for us here, and uh, we will talk to you in other videos real soon. So see you. Bye for now.